What am I doing, you might ask? Good question. This. Hi, this is John Park for Adafruit, and today I'd like to show you how to build your own Circuit Playground light paintbrush. A light paintbrush is used during long exposure photography to create streaks of colored light. Now the Circuit Playground has NeoPixels, which can be pretty much any color we want, and it has an accelerometer that we can use to change that color based on tilt. What I've done is taken a battery pack, the Circuit Playground, some alligator clips, and a potentiometer just to adjust the brightness. I've put these together and written a small piece of software that changes the color based on the tilt. Let me show you how to put your own together. You'll start off with some alligator clips. You'll need three of them. What I did was cut the ends off and then used wire strippers to strip off a little bit of the insulation. What I'm going to do with these is solder them to the potentiometer. Now you could use the alligator clip as advertised and just clip onto each end uh, and maybe use some tape to keep them secure, but I decided to go that extra little step and solder these on. You can follow the circuit diagram in the learning guide. What we're going to do is connect ground to the left pin on the potentiometer, voltage on the right, and the control signal is going to be that yellow wire in the middle. What you want to do is tin each of these legs on the potentiometer with your soldering iron and tin the wires, then heat them up and stick them together. You can even use a little piece of heat shrink tubing if you want to be extra careful. Okay, the potentiometer is wired up, and now what we're going to do is connect that to the circuit playground. So the black clip will go to one of the ground holes on the circuit playground, red to a 3.3 volt, and we're going to use pin 10 for this signal, the yellow wire. Okay, now when you upload your code, the NeoPixels will dim or brighten based on the signal coming from the potentiometer. The next step is to attach the battery pack to the circuit playground, which will A, power the circuit playground, and B, give us a little handle to hold it. So what we'll do is trim off a little piece of foam double stick tape and attach that to the back of the circuit playground. And now we can attach the battery pack to the foam tape, just like that. Plug in your wire and now we've got power. And the last thing we're going to do is connect the potentiometer also with some foam tape to the top so that we have a nice neat package. And now with the software uploaded to the Circuit Playground light paintbrush, we can adjust the brightness, check our tilt, and then it's time to turn off the lights, set your camera to a long exposure, and try creating some interesting and beautiful patterns in light. For Adafruit, I'm John Park. Be sure to check out the guide for all the information on building the Circuit Playground light paintbrush.